Zoom recording. Zoom recording's on. So number two is yes. Is your name on the bell work? Yeah. At the top on the first page. Yes. All right. Do you have the dates on there? Yeah. At the very least Monday's date. Yep. I don't have Tuesday. Do you have more than one page? Need to do the old staple doodle do? No. All right. If you did though, remember staplers over there. So instead of sliding your paper, you'd go over there and staple it, right? See how right. Yep. All right, good. Now, uh, number six. What happens if you're like, turn. let's say, taunting one of your friends instead of answering your questions on the bell work? What tardy, yes, you will. You will get marked tardy. You will be marked tardy. What are the two types of bonds? Two types of bonds that we've learned about so far. There's three we're going to learn about. There's actually four, but there's three we're going to learn about. Two of them we already have. Tell me one. Covalent. Covalent. Very good. That's the one we did yesterday. And what was the one we did the day before? Ionic, very good. Now the next question, what happens with the valence electrons in each type of bond? So tell me in an ionic bond, what are the electrons doing? I look covalent. You got covalent? Yeah. All right, cool. We'll get ready to write for ionic. Then. Okay. And make sure you're saying which is which. Don't just say like something electrons do, something electrons do. Say like in ionic, electrons mer. In covalent, electrons blur. So oh, tell wait, me what tell me what the mer is. <laughs> yeah, but how would we get the negative and the positive ion to form? What does that with the electrons? Um occurs ionic is going between two ions that give up electrons easily. They both give up electrons? No, only yeah. ions. They both gain electrons. One steals electrons from the Nice. Say it again. One steals electron from the other. Yes. One steals the electron from the other. So how we usually say it, like how chemists would say it, we say electrons are transferred. Make sure you guys are correcting that, right? Get that on your papers, right? For ionic bonds, electrons are transferred, right? One electron is stolen from the other electron's outermost shell. The thief keeps it. No, we stole. And the person, if you like, if I stole Bradley's lunch, ha ha. And then Bradley has to follow me for the rest of ever because he can't do anything without his lunch. Right? That's the only thing. No, you get the idea. That's what, an ionic bond, you guys. Yeah. Uh, what, what is the name? Who's ooh, sandwich? Is there a bug repeating name? It's chips. Not now. There's not. You got, you got Capri Sun. Oh, dang it. Ooh, pudding. Pudding. It's not good. No, you got the pudding. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, in an ionic bond, electrons are transferred. Tell me what happens in a covalent bond, please. What happens in a covalent bond? Oh. What happens in a covalent bond, the youth? Got you. Each of the electrons is one bond. Uh, yeah, is one single electron is so tell me on a team with like co captains, who's the captain? Um, there's a there's co captains. How many captains are there? Three, three, more than one, right? Yeah. Who's in charge out of those like three co captains? Uh, the captain. But like, they're all co captains. Like the original but captain. But they're all three original. The first captain. They're all they're all the co captains. No, but looking up. The one with more experience. They're all the same. They're all seniors. Need. I don't answer that. You wouldn't know, think that they're sharing the responsibility of being captain. Oh yeah. So what happens in a so in a co-captain, co-captain on a team, they share the captain responsibility, right? Holly is definitely gonna get her bell work out and answer these questions frantically. So what happens in a covalent bond? Then? Electrons are shared. Yes, electrons are shared. Get it on your papers. You're right, uh, Brendan, about the single electron makes a single bond. 
with a single electron is shared. Yeah, add it to your paper. Added, added. Oh, good man, good man. Yeah. Very good. Yes, electrons are shared, right? Tiana, you got shared. The yeah, it's right here. Delicious. S H A R E D, shared. And then slide them. Slide them. Wait, what do you want to come for number 10? Number oh, 10? oh. Not not fair enough. Don't unslide them. Unslide them. Sorry, I forgot. What's happening? Are we all are we all ready with share it? <laughs> transferred electrons are transferred, yes. Thank you, Bradley. Yeah. Oh. All right, check this out then. Yeah. Here's your schedule for the day. Oh, oh okay. you'll notice it's different from normal, right? No, I no. Right. No. So this period ends a little sooner, second period ends a little sooner, then there's no high. So everything's going to jump up a half hour and also end a little sooner. As you can see right here, right? The periods are like four minutes shorter, right? Yeah. All right. So four times nine gives us, like, gives us like an extra 36 minutes, right? Then 30 minutes from high, that gives us plenty of time to have a beautiful 35 minute assembly. Yeah. What's our assembly for there, Pepper? Can check the time. Check the time. It's time to learn. Oh. Maybe you want. Maybe you want to take it. Maybe you want to take a picture of this brand. Oh yeah. Me too. Where they have the picture? It's only seven. Where we get happy? I don't know. The gym. Yeah. I know it goes to gym. Yeah, the gym. Yeah, we won't walk all the way down to the field house. All right. That's just the middle school. Guys, this shit, this is not that hard. It's because the middle school right? comes not. All right, there we go. It does for us. Right, Jim, it's plenty big enough. Jim. Say it like that. Well, now slide them. Mm, wait, so what are we read for number 10? Just yes. Stop. I said yes. when sooner than normal. I don't know. Whatever. That's one of the things. Oh, What's in there? Because there was angst and yeah. gnashing of teeth and worry, paranoia. Wait, what were these questions? All right, so keep those notes out. Okay. Wait, listen, we are going to finish it up and now we're going to take the quiz. So, Mr. Pyron. I want to make, hey, hold on, hold on. Let me rephrase. What happens if you run out of time during the quiz? Well, we can retake it. Uh, no, you miss all the questions you didn't get to. So focus here, pay attention. What? Let's move quickly. Yes. This is not fair. fair. You know, it's not fair. You guys are constantly talking about off topic things, but all I said was let's finish the notes. Let's finish the notes, shall we? If I don't feel good. You don't feel good? I would yeah. say good builds character. Build character. Okay, so if I make this, then I have an a bonus point right here. We literally have a bonus point. Actually, do it. No, you're just smashing it. No, we hit a stupid chord. All right, so hold on, hold on. I'll get it, Aiden. I'll get it. All right, guys, look at the notes for me. Look at the notes. I want you guys on page three. On page three, the part that we already did. Oh. Uh, but I gotta go back and, yeah, no, you have the QR code and you got the little non polar covalent yeah. bond down here. Everybody with me, yeah? No problem. All right, so yeah. read quickly, Shh, read quickly with me where it says unequal sharing. It should read, it should read when electrons are shared equally, non polar covalent bonds form. That part should be good, right? Yeah. Then the part I messed up. It says molecules without charged poles are called nonpolar. So put a little non in front of it. That's my bad. A little non in front of it. Oh wait, so we weren't supposed to exit out the last one, huh? I I already got that. I'm talking about this. No, no, we're not. Well, we can all. Oh, you can't it out. Oh. All right, then. Flip the page. Wait, hold on. First, look here. Do you guys see what I'm saying though? Yeah. Here they're sharing the electrons evenly. See how everything, all the electrons are evenly dispersed? Yeah. Right? So we don't have one end of the molecule having like a charge and the other end having the opposite charge, like a, like poles on a magnet, right? You guys are with me here? Yeah, I had a magnet. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. This right here. This magnet, if this is a molecule, would this be a polar molecule or a non-polar molecule? Both. Both. Polar. Be polar. It has two poles, all right? You ready for this? Watch this. Watch this. Oh, no. How now, brown cow? Polar, non-polar. Non-polar. 
Non-polar. Non-polar. Do you see how both the poles right? Do you yeah, see what I'm saying? Both, yeah. Now, if I did this, what now? Now, oh, now that's polar. Now it's polar. Do you see what I'm saying? Yep. What if I did like this? Uh, polar. No, non-polar. Oh, wait, no polar. Polar. Wait, no non-polar. Non-polar, right? Because the two poles are canceling each other out. Mm -hmm. I kind of get why south and north are. That's polar. Polar. Right? We got a pole here, right? But look at this. We got a north pole up here. We got a south pole down here. You guys see what I'm saying? With my magnets, my colorful. Yeah. You see the red versus blue, blue versus red. Okay, cool. So, backside. Final page. You listen, we're going fast because I want you to have time for a finish your quiz. Trust me, I also do all right, so when we should have these two filled in, when electrons are not shared equally. Are not shared equally. Okay. Not polar. Polar covalent bonds form. Not polar or polar. Polar. When electrons are not shared equally, polar covalent, polar covalent bonds are formed. Yes or yes? Yes. Yes. Molecules, blank charged blanks are called blanker molecules. Blanker. Molecules with or without. Wh which is it? With, with. with molecules with charged atoms. Charged. Electron. Like on a magnet. Poles. Poles. Molecules with charged poles are called uh, positive. I spell pole like pole away. Are called positive molecules. Negative polar molecules. Polar. What? Polar? How? They're <laughs> poles. If they have charged poles, then they're called polar. So let me read the these last two. You should have when electrons are not shared equally, polar covalent bonds form. Like molecules polar. with charged poles are called polar molecules. Yeah. All right, you guys have that? Yeah. All right, so look at the water here, right? Look at the water. Where are my magnets at? You can, uh, you can, you can. They're over there near <laughs> You can see here, right? Like, much bigger nucleus, right? Yeah. Pulls, pulls the electrons much harder, right? Uh -huh. Down here, we got our positive protons. Positive protons. The electrons are going to be pulled way more up here, leaving us with a partial positive down here. North pole is commonly called the positive pole. Watch this. Look at this. Look at this. Boom. What it what it oh, oh my dad. It's like a magnet, right? You guys with me yeah. here? You guys are joking. So the nucleus down here, one positive proton, right? Come on. One positive proton, right? Yes. You're shaking your head. That's what I'm talking to you, Brandon. One positive proton. You with me, bud? All right. So listen, here's how it works. The electrons are attracted to the protons, yeah? Yeah. But poor hydrogen just has one. Oxygen's got it. Yeah. Oh. Right. They're jacked. When I was eight and my youngest brother was one, guess how I shared my Tonka trucks? Hit, hit them with them. Pretty Throw much. Them. No, no, he didn't get to have them. They were mine. He'd come near me and be like, get back. These are my Tonka trucks. Yeah, Mom would come out and be like, share. Yeah. And it would be like, see, we are sharing. We are sharing. But as soon as she went back in the house, it's my Tonka truck. You sit over there in the corner and cry, you little baby. These are my Tonka trucks. That's what it's like here. The electron every once in a while comes down to hang out with the hydrogen. But mostly it's up here in oxygen. It's, nice. it's not very nice. That's going to give us a partially positive charge here because the electron's spending more time up here. Because the electrons are spending more time up here and electrons are sharing. Negative, negative, positive, what? Electrons are negative. That's going to give us a partial negative up here, right? You guys with me here? Look at my magnets. Look at my magnets, right? Hold on, stop it. Positive, negative, right? Look, look you got to look over here, big pal. Positive, negative. Positive, negative. You with me here? Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Uh, 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 look at this molecule, polar, non-polar. Polar, non-polar. They're not canceling out, man. So it's polar, right? We have two opposite poles. Right? This end, this end is this way. Rip that, and you guys see what I'm saying? Yes. Like, like I'm actually, I'm putting force on these magnets to hold them together. They're trying to repel each other. Here's the thing. Water right here is a polar molecule because it has charged poles. Everybody feeling good? 
Yeah. Now, when you have molecules with charged poles, it leads us to our final kind of bonding, which is commonly called hydrogen bonding. Guess why it's called hydrogen bonding? Because it has to do with hydrogen. What element's this? Hydrogen. And this one? Hydrogen. Elements, or sorry, molecules with hydrogen in them. Tend, tend <laughs> to be polar. When you got hydrogen, because it's so wimpy and little, Hydrogen never gets to play with the Tonka trucks. The Tonka trucks are the electrons, right, Sienna? Say right. Say yes. Right. She's got it. Of course I'm right. I'm always right. My name's on the door and everything. All right, you guys. Shh. Hey, I'm going to start writing referrals. Stop it. Look at Hydrogen bonding. You ready for this? When blanks with partial blanks. What do we call that? The water. It's got more than one atom. We call it a molecule. When molecules with partial... Partial poles. Well, they have poles because they have partial charges. Molecules with partial charges. What the heck is that? Molecules with partial charges are attracted to each other. Molecules with partial charges are attracted to each other. Usually involves hydrogen. It's here's the thing. It's not really a bond. Not really a bond. Romantic bond. I'm glad. I'm glad you went there. Hold on. Don't put those away. Do I look? Do I seem like I'm done with these notes to you? No. No. Did you see how there's a whole other slide? So listen. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You got your your partial charges, right? Yep. If you think of a bond like a romantic connection, right? Let me talk about how the ionic bond, right? Sodium gave up that electron for chlorine and that completed chlorine and that made sodium feel happy, right? Bonding them together forever, the strongest bond outside of water. Here's the thing. Hydrogen bonding is more like a, uh, it's more like a homecoming crush. Oh, let me explain. Do those look familiar to you? What if I, what if I flip them upside down? What if I flip them upside down and say, hey, you guys, look at the look at the water molecules. Look at the water. Look at this. Yeah. See that water? Yeah. Guess what this is? Water. And water upside down. And the water. Wait, so I'll put my glass upside down. That's what it looks like. No. Oh. These are just the water molecules flipped upside down. So we've got our covalent bond between what atom and what atom? What element? What element? Hydrogen. hydrogen, right? We got two hydrogens. We got one big old what? Uh, oxygen. oxygen. Very good. And then over here, we've got a hydrogen and a hydrogen and a big old. And like I just showed you, right? Like I just showed you, the partial charges, right? The partial charges. Oxygen, me with the Tonka trucks. Hydrogen, my little brother with the Tonka trucks. As a result, this part of the molecule is partially negative, right? Or right? Right. Of course I'm right. But I have a question. And this part of the molecule is partially negative. And this part is partially positive. What do we know about opposites? They, they don't start together. No, they do at the other side. They attract. That right there is called a hydrogen bond. What's your what's your question, Sianna? What what happens is switch like hydrogen and like in the red dot and then the other one. Well, what happens if I take these two magnets and get a mirror each other? Good baby. Oh, they would Repel. Repel. Upside down repel. They'll actually spin themselves around. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, well, yeah, I, I try to well, what what you try to force it. You can't. Don't ever force it. Mm -hmm. I'm it's going to keep but, doing that until. Well, I like, I would love to get something in red hydrogen. Like this one was flipped over? No, like hydrogen in the red. Like, Oxygen's in the red. Yeah, but what if hydrogen? That'd be, that'd be like asking, what if you were brave? What if you were Bradley? What? Well, that's Bradley. <laughs> Bradley. Listen, listen. Right here, that's a hydrogen bond. Yeah, Batman. Look at your molecules. What's it say to you doing your paper? Um, draw your partial negative and partial positive charges. 
Oh, we're doing it right now. Yeah, do it right now. Just like just like you see up here on the board. Wait, what are we doing? That. So to show to show a partial charge, a full charge, you just put the plus or a minus, right? To show a partial charge in chemistry, we do this weird squiggle doodle. It looks like a fish, like one of like the. Oh yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. It's actually a lowercase Greek S. Oh. You want to see uppercase Greek S? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, hold on. Interesting. Yeah, it's a sigma. There it is. Sigma, oh. uppercase sigma, lowercase sigma. Sigma for partial charge. I don't know why they picked that letter, but they did. So you draw that and then the charge. You see how I drew it right there? A little squiggle minus. Squiggle minus. Squiggle plus. Squiggle plus. Are you squiggling? Yeah. It almost looks like a cursive capital L. Squiggle plus. Squiggle plus. No, I actually just cursive L. Mm -hmm. We're just supposed to add squiggles. Squiggle. I'll put your plus and minus where they go, yeah. So I'll feel some squiggles. I'm tired. Oh, my. I'm not going to beta and alpha. Tell me this way. No, you're done. Oh, okay. I already did it. We do. Yeah, we're going to put this in half of it. Put it about there. Oh, sorry. Wait. Josh forgot how to draw it. Let's squiggle a little. I got it, Mr. Patrick. Yeah, you're going to be attracted. I think I got it. It's not your kind of thing. It looks like it's a strange. Lish. Sure, yeah, a little bit. Okay. I guess I'll take a target. Can you keep on your attention real quick, though? Right. I'm going to work on yeah. this. Right. So, you guys have your partial charges. Did you draw your attraction then? Between your partial negative and your partial positive. Uh, now, is this a full bond? I don't know. I don't know. Partial. Or chain. Oh, okay. Squiggle up here. Squiggle up here. Squiggle up here. Then, see how it's going to happen between them. They're gonna yeah, so right here we've got our partial negative charge, right? Yeah, that's what we're gonna Here we've got a partial um, and other partial plus yeah. 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 Now here's the thing: Is it a full charge or is it a partial charge? Partial. partial. So is it a full attraction or a partial attraction? Partial. Partial attraction. This is like you're at homecoming. You didn't have the courage to ask your crush out. You're there with your posse. Your crush is there with their posse, and you're like, you know, you watch them. And they just, you know, they went over there to that side, and you're like, hey guys, let's all like, like, you know, for, for no reason. Let's, let's, this is part of the dance floor scene. Let's go. Let's all go over here. We're all coming over here now. And all of a sudden, your crush and their posse, they're they're like over here now. Cause they're like, hey guys, this this part of the, you just, you just sort of you know creepily follow them around because you don't have the courage to ask them out yet. Not really. Just I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's a, that, I guarantee. You, just watch it. Just watch it. Pick a dude. Find what. So no, find, be find, find what girl. Dudes. Find what girl he's looking at. All right. Just do it. It'll be fun for you. Just watch. Like watch his eyes. That there'll be a girl there that he's not with. That he'll just be watching the whole time. And then watch everywhere she goes. He's just gonna follow her around like a little, like a little. You see how this works? So no. partial attraction, not put, not full on romantic bond yet. Just a partial attraction. Here's the thing. If I grab, if I was like, if I was like super powered, right? If I'm, if I'm, if I'm like Doctor Manhattan, I can shrink down it, and I could grab this atom and grab this atom. I could pull them apart. You see what I'm saying? Are you listening or are you talking to Trent? I could pull these two apart, right? Well, if you did that. Not much because that bond's really weak, so it's really easy to break. That's the final thing I want you to write down here at the bottom of your paper, bottom of your paper. Easy to break. Wait, what do we write? Partial attraction, easy to break. Exactly. And then there's one more thing. One more. Two break. Right. We're going to finish the last one. It's easy to break. It also means it's easy to make. Easy to break. It also means it's easy to make. Easy to break. Easy to make. 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 Easy to make
And this type of bonding, you guys, listen, this type of bonding, this is crucial for your understanding of like all the stuff you do next year in biology. Oh, so we're going to talk about some of this stuff this year because this is applied science. We're going to apply our chemistry to biology. But first, it's Friday. Let's go. Hi.